Hello, everybody. This is Kate Strashne from Dedicated. We're in Las Vegas at AWS's reInvent, and I'm here with Yannick from Roche. Right? How Hello. is your reInvent going? It's amazing. Uh, my first time, um, believe it or not, but it uh, has been like a very exciting experience. Um, I think the energy here is just unmatched. The scale is also unmatched, so uh, it's really, really great to be here. So They sort of take over the strip. The yeah, it's, it's literally like AWS is, is, is taking over Vegas. And uh, I mean, it, it's it's also great. Like uh, you, you can see AWS everywhere. Yes, yes, that's for sure. So I want to get started by asking, what do you do at Roche and how long have you been there? So I've... Um, I've been at Roche for five years and I'm head of engineering there in global pharma strategy. And I'm lead a team of roughly 150 engineers distributed in LATAM, EMEA and APAC. And uh, our team supports the go-to-market domain of Roche. So that's basically the domain that brings the, the science and our products to the real life. So we support sales, digital marketing teams with data and analytics. Okay, and as for the company as a whole, what problems do you solve? It, it's really supporting um, supporting these functions that I mentioned, um, trying to get a 360 view of our customers. So really making the interaction with the broader healthcare system more meaningful. Mm -hmm. And also it, for us, it's very important to, to improve the time to market, to, to help the teams adjust quickly to a fast changing world that we live in. So uh, really their data and analytics are key to make the right decisions. So question on speed, why do you want to go faster? I think it's it's because we, we live in a dynamic world. I mean, especially also now with the US government, you can see there's a lot of things happening at a very fast pace and you need to be able to react. So yeah. that's why for us, speed is crucial to, to react to the, the world that changes. Right. So I'm assuming AWS Analytics helps you in some way to solve these problems. Uh, tell my audience a little bit about what are some of the tools and services you use and how that's helped you on your mission. Sure. I, I think for us, AWS was, was really crucial um, from multiple angles. So first of all, it helped us really to simplify our technology landscape because before we started, the it was very distributed, like we had multiple technologies. So AWS really helped us to, to centralize uh, our technology stack, uh, really getting us this 360 customer view that we couldn't get before because it was all over the place. Right. So I think AWS helped us in, in that regards and we settled on a lake house setup in AWS. So we, we have a data lake where we stage all our data in S3 with the Glue Data Catalog, and then we process all the data with Redshift, our big data engine, to do all the business transformation that are needed. And then ultimately, we, we serve the data um, to Tableau, ThoughtSpot, mm -hmm. and the BI ecosystem. I think what is also important is that we even take it one step further and write back our insights into Salesforce uh, so that the, our teams can leverage the insights directly mm. where they're already using um, the tools. That seems like it would save a lot of time as well if you could just write back into your CRM. Absolutely. Tool. I think it's, it makes the data actionable, right? Yes. And I think at the end of the day, this is this is what you want. So it's for us important to really support the business processes as effectively as, as possible. So going back to speed for a second, is are there any specific metrics or ROI that you uncovered where you're like, yes, this is actually working and we're getting our money's worth? I think for us, it's it's very important to to track the usage of of our dashboards and our tools mm. um, because at the end of the day, we're doing that for a reason. And I think there is the, the adoption that that we track um, because this is where we make an impact. Right. And uh, I had the adoption of of our tools and solutions had been quite good. So also the the self service BI that we established. I think we can track all of that and we see the the mindset shift also to become more data driven in our mm. company, which is is actually what we want to drive. Right, right. There's nothing worse than creating dashboards, reports, spending all this time and then no one's using it. Exactly. Right? I've yes. been there. I've been there. <laughs> and then sometimes you're like, wow, everyone seems to be using this one dashboard every day and yes. you uncover things that you didn't even know in, in the sense of like what the business really wants. 
So I don't know, did you get to see some sessions, the keynotes? Was there anything at this event that stood out for you where you're like, okay, I can't wait to take this back to my team and, you know, maybe later next year, this year, start implementing more projects? I mean, it's, it's, it's a bit overwhelming, to be yeah, honest. Yeah. It's like a million announcements. <laughs> um, but for me also, the last couple of days, it was great to, to meet the AWS product team, mm -hmm. to have in-depth conversation about uh, product roadmaps, um, so that we also can adjust our roadmap based on the AWS roadmap. And maybe even influence the roadmap a little bit, right? So uh, I think we we also have uh, our problems, um, and it's it's great to have AWS as a partner. To and that's why also it's great to have this conversation here in person. Yeah. So you can drive that agenda forward. Yeah. If you can influence the roadmap to your advantage, hey, that's great. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, I'm I'm trying um, for sure. For me, it's 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 great to work with AWS because they are very receptive to that customer feedback. I keep and, hearing that yes. from a lot of customer conversations I'm having. Everyone is saying they feel seen, they feel heard. Yeah. When there's an issue, they they're working together to be a true partner on your journey. It's very true. I mean, uh, everybody claims to be customer centric, right? But um, at the end of the day, I think AWS is 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 really living that model. So. Great. Well, Yannick, first of all, thank you so much for making time. I know your sure. schedule is very busy. It's very hectic here. Um, so I want to thank you for your time. And I'll share some helpful links in the video description so folks can learn more about some of the products and services you talked about. And yeah, cheers. No, Thanks a lot.